Hey guys, it's Ross Cullen, Spice Couch today, comparing the Thai Airways Boeing 777-200 and the British Caledonian DC-10. So you can see they are about the same size, and obviously the 777 was uh, meant to replace the DC-10 and the TriStar, and early 747s as well. So yes, interesting just seeing the two of them together like this. So obviously this has got the extra engine in the tail, which you'll see from this side. Uh, the TriStar certainly has its underwing engines a little bit further out um, than most planes do, but here they're both about the same. Let's see. Very, very nice. And let's see there. Uh, the DC-10, I think, is slightly larger. Um, but yeah, these are great together. There's a few airlines operated both these. Like British Airways obviously inherited uh, these, specifically these, um, from British Caledonia and also operated 777s. And I believe they were both in operation at the same time. But yeah, obviously you can see the shape of the nose is very different. Engines obviously are different also. These are CFMs and these can be several different ones. Obviously, I think BA had some General Electric, which... These are also General Electric, and they also had Rolls Royce. I don't think there were. <clears throat> were there any Rolls Royce DC tens, or was it just a single engine choice? I can't remember now. I know the TriStar was a single engine choice of Rolls Royce, but yeah, good to see the two of these together. <clears throat> the old and the new, although these are very old as well now. Also, now starting to be replaced in service by say A three fifties and seven eight sevens. And probably by the 777-9, I expect, in due course, once that's certified. So, yes. Would have been interesting. And obviously, Thai operated DC-10s as well, and MD-11s. Would be interesting to have seen one of these in these colours. But, yeah, BKL, they um, took on some A310s as um, the long-haul replacements. But they got rid of them after a couple of years. They went to Libyan Airways. Libyan Arab Airlines, I think was the full name. And obviously, um, they'd ordered A320s, um, and the first one was rolled out of the paint shop in B Cal colours, just as they were taken over by British Airways. So it's hastily repainted in BA colours. And for a long time, BA only had 10 A320s. A bit of an oddball fleet. And then in the 90s, they ordered hundreds of them. But yes. Very, very nice. And Thai, I was think, has announced that it wants to buy a load of 787s for fleet uh, expansion. So, yes, just a little look at the two of them in comparison. Very nice they are, both are. And I've flown on a DC-10 once, Lake Airways, I'm sure I've told you the story before. Um, went to Florida on Rich International, they went bust halfway through the holiday. Came back on these from Fort Lauderdale. On Lakers DC-10, sorry, not British Caledonia. They're long gone by then. So, yes. So, yeah, there you go. Just a little quick comparison of the two. I hope you guys enjoy. Just look at this classic airliners. Seems odd to be calling a 777 a classic airliner. But now that it's out of production, apart from the freighter, I suppose it probably is. So, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.